condition 8503 and tourist visas from Manila. It's definitely high time we did an updated blog article on the condition 8503 no further stay and tourist visa applications from Philippines to Australia. Now we still have older blog articles in our blog history and much as I'd love to go through and update some of which are now fairly outdated we do at this point have 545 articles and they're going back over the last approximately seven years since the blog started um, and I hope people realize that things do change but I, I won't be editing old articles. Um, first and foremost let me make it clear here that we haven't seen a condition 8503 applied to a visitor visa from Manila in about three years. Now yes the condition still does exist in the migration regulations and yes it can be applied to subclass 600 tourist visas at the discretion of the case officer in the, in the Manila Embassy. However we haven't seen it applied to any of our tourist visas for what I would think would, would certainly be more than a thousand visas ago. So it's not something we think about much anymore. Now what used to happen to tourist visas from Manila? It used to be fairly automatic. You applied for a tourist visa to Australia from Philippines and it would have the 8503 on it. What that meant was no further stay. Visit Australia with a tourist visa and at the end of the stay you hopped on a plane and left. You had, if you had a three month stay or a six month stay, you left at the end of that stay. And if you wanted another visa to visit only, you applied for another one. Applying for partner visas inside Australia? Forget it. Uh, not happening. So the options were limited and we just accepted that and we used to fend off as poor souls who would email us wanting to remain together in Australia after arriving on tourist visas. Shortcut to Australia, they thought. Arrive on a tourist visa, marry and then, well, they have to be able to stay, surely. Surely they. <laughs> Famous last words usually start with surely they. Now they were married after all. Many a heartbroken couple had their dreams shattered and said their farewells at the airport. Then all of a sudden we had a few visa grants come through without the condition. And before you know it, we've, uh, we could stop warning everybody about this being a standard clause that they could expect, in their, expect with their visa grant. New visa options opened up. Now what does a no condition, no, sorry, try that again. So what does no condition 8503 actually mean in reality? What it means is that you may in fact apply for any onshore visa that you are eligible and qualified for while being inside Australia. So if you wish to apply for a further tourist visa within Australia, then you may do so. Um, you must watch that date that the three months stay will expire, which is, take note, three months, not 90 days. Of course, um, do not expect down under visa to mark the calendar for you and uh, let you know. That's your responsibility. But we, we may prepare and electronically lodge an, an onshore tourist visa application for you. And if successful, um, which I must say they usually are, you can get to stay longer without having to return. But note that this is in fact a new visa application and it's not a visa extension as people like to call it. I don't like the words extension or to extend because they imply it's not a new visa application when it is, an, it is a new application. They start afresh, they don't just re-stamp it for you. So it still means work, it doesn't, it's not just rehashing the old one. So how about applying for a partner visa onshore? Yes, it can definitely be done. However, we need to ensure that you are still complying with the criteria set in the migration regulations for tourist visas. Let us know if this is your intention and we can most likely help you. So in short, um, please don't read the very old blog articles on this and don't worry about what any old timers tell you about what happened with their visa application years ago. Condition 8503 is definitely no longer in fashion visa-wise from Manila. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it and you would like to subscribe, you can click on the little button down the bottom corner there and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.
Um, there are regular articles on aspects of Australian visas to the Philippines on www.townundervisa.com.au There is a blog page you can subscribe to. There is a free visa assessment form. And there are regular articles on aspects of Australian-Filipino relationships which you can see on www.filipinowives.com.au um, If you can please share these articles and these videos on any of the social media that you use, we would appreciate that. Thank you.